Hello, and welcome to the 2023 edition of World Plone Day. In this video, we'll show you how to create a new Plone 6 project using the Cookie Cutter Plone Starter. The Plone community created this cookie cutter to speed up the creation of a new Plone project containing a React front-end and a Plone headless back-end. It is required you already have cookie cutter, docker, node.js installed in your computer. To see how to install all those dependencies, please refer to the complete documentation for cookie cutter Plone starter available at its GitHub repository. After you have all the required dependencies installed on your local computer, open a new terminal and run the cookie cutter command. If you did run this command before, cookie cutter will ask you if it is ok to re-download the cookie cutter plone starter. To make sure you have the latest version, always re-download. After the download completes, cookie cutter will run a wizard with some questions used to create this project. The first one, is the project title. Then the project slug, that is used to create the repository name. The next one is a description of the project. You can be verbose in here, to help people understand what this project will be. The following questions are the author of the project, and their email. For the new project, we provide a Python package that configures your new website. The wizard will ask you the name of the package. By default we use the project slug, but replace the dash with an underscore. The idea behind this naming convention is to simplify the project creation, and that is why we do not support Python namespaces yet. The next questions will ask you the Plone and Volto versions to be used. By default, we get the latest stable releases. Now. You select the language of your project, the name of the GitHub organization that will host this project and where you are going to store the Docker images generated by this project. The default value is to use Docker Hub, but for simple projects we recommend you to select GitHub. Cookie Cutter will now run a sanity check to validate you have all required dependencies installed. Now, the project generation will take place. First with the creation of the front-end codebase and then with the back-end codebase. After the project generation completes, you will see a new folder created with the project codebase. We are going to install the project dependencies. First, enter the created folder, and then run make install. This could take several minutes, as it will install both the back-end and the front-end. In the end, you will have everything you need to run your project locally. Now, we will start the Plone backend. Just run make start backend. The backend will be accessible on the port 8080 of your local computer. Open a new terminal, and start the Volto frontend by running make start backend. The frontend will be accessible on the port 3000 of your local computer. The new project will have a backend folder, with the codebase and configuration used, to run the Plone backend. And will have a frontend folder, with the codebase and configuration used, to run the Volto frontend. That is how you create a new Plone 6 project using Cookie Cutter Plone Starter. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have further questions, you can reach us at the Cookie Cutter Plone Starter GitHub repository.